Well, he's just been named artistic director of one of New York City's most prominent ballet companies. But his journey to success was not an easy one, beginning at a New York City homeless shelter. All right, Antoine Lewis brings us the story of Stephen Melendez and shows us how he went from homeless to artist. Thirty-six-year-old Stephen Melendez has just been named artistic director of the New York Theater Ballet, only the second person to hold that title in the company's 44-year history. It was the first place I ever took a ballet class, and uh, coming back here now full circle is, is pretty incredible. The journey to full circle began when he was introduced to ballet at age seven, while Stephen and his family were living in a homeless shelter in the South Bronx. My mother and I and my sister, my younger sister, we're living in a New York City homeless shelter. I was trying not to, not, not to get into trouble and um, played football quite a bit. Uh, I was really a, a boy's boy and um, ballet just inspired something new in me. Stephen was the product of Project Lift, a community service outreach program that finds at-risk and underserved New York City children and introduces them to ballet. And ponder down and stretch an attitude and stretch. The program is the brainchild of Diana Beyer, founder and artistic director emeritus of New York Theater Ballet. Beyer says the program strives for diversity and inclusiveness. I just think the world's diverse and the art world should show the world. So we've always been diverse and I think that um, being able to find children that are living in homeless shelters who have no advantages, don't know the arts, there's a lot of talent there. So it really opened my eyes. Both Stephen and the program are the subject of the new documentary film entitled Lift, which focuses on homelessness and the healing power of the arts. Academy Award nominated oh, actually, filmmaker David yeah, Peterson followed Stephen, the ballet company, and young ballet recruits for 10 years straight. I think. The most astonishing thing of tracking children or young people, young dancers, over the course of 10 years is that um, you start to see them change with all the challenges. And you start to see something that you never see in real time with dance, is to see their development. And that development is astonishing. So you're walking backward and you're going to put yourself right in between those two lights. And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, yeah. Lyft has been accepted into the 2022 Tribeca Festival and will premiere on June 12th. It's sure to be a certain reminder of what happens when you take a risk on those who are at risk. Every person is different. Every young person needs something different and I would encourage them to seek what they need for themselves and uh, find a way to make that a reality and recognize that it's okay if they're different from the person next to them. In fact, they're probably better off for being different than the person next to them. From the East Village, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.